You ever hear of Mia Khalifa? Of course you have. Let's see what people are saying about her. Or let's see what she's getting up to. In the most recent events, I guess, I just stumbled across this article called Mia Khalifa Destroys Fan Who Got Her Face Tattooed on His Leg. Dude, what's it like to get destroyed by Mia Khalifa? Given that she got destroyed throughout most of her career in many other positions. That's what I meant by you probably, you probably heard about her. Even if you don't, not familiar with her, her shit. She's like a prolific goddamn porn artist. I can't say artist. Porn star. <laughs> Come on. What she does isn't, isn't art. It's called being a dead fish. <laughs> so, uh, this freaking goddamn article written by some guy named Kit Roberts. You can tell just by the way he words it. This guy's a goddamn simp. Jesus Christ. A fan of the former adult film star decided they want to pay permanent homage to her. Okay. Yucleaf, a withering sponsor of a fan, decided to get her face tattooed on his leg. And I'm guessing she didn't like that. Okay. I can understand that, sure. Right? On one hand, it's like, all right, it's a little weird. You, you know, going to that extent, permanently branding yourself with the face of someone that you idolize, which... Come on. I mean, there's better people to idolize rather than somebody got famous for having other people have sex with them. And yes, other people have sex with them. <laughs> You've seen Mia Khalifa's video. She's not very good at what she does. <laughs> She's just a prop, a thing that people look at. But, um, okay, this one... But this one took things in a wholly different direction with the fan making no secret of his admiration of Khalifa. She's left her adult career behind and is now an influencer. I mean, if you look at her Twitter... She, I don't think she's fully disbanded her roots. <laughs> Some people might be flattered by a fan getting tattooed. The Khalifa most certainly was not. In fact, when she saw the tattoo, she decided to tell the fan exactly what she thought of the ill-advised ink, which isn't exactly a lifelike portrait of Khalifa. First of all, you're an idiot, she wrote. She continued. Second of all, my eyebrows are uneven. Third of all, what kind of two-for-one special to get this tattoo on? In fairness to her, the tattoo is not the best writing of her. Who cares about... Oh, fairness towards Mia Khalifa. She's a rich and famous porn star who doesn't really put much effort into things that she does, but is, is idolized and renowned for being a, a fuck prop. <laughs> Jesus. I look, I just called out of the depths of hell. Nose first. What kind of dumbass would permanently mark their body with this? This isn't cool or flattering. You're an idiot, lol. Okay, yes. On one hand, it is weird. It is uncanny. Don't do stuff like that, especially if you have a sense of individualism. Don't, like, brand yourself with the face of people who are rich and famous just because you like what they do. It's like, that's, that's dumb. Come on. But if I were that person getting branded, my response wouldn't just be, you're stupid, get out of here, loser. It's like, dude, clearly you mean something to this person to the extent of which they're willing to brand themselves permanently with your fucking face. Be, like, show, a, show some gratitude. These are the people that give you your stupid-ass life. You're able to go and do whatever you want, whenever you want. You're known, well, not for stuff that you like, but you chose that. And now you're crying about it because you're stupid. Instead of just embracing it and moving on. Like Sasha Gray, perfect example. People call some streamers titty streamers. So, like, you can also apply that to movies. I have no interest in titty acting. <laughs> I mean, technically I've already done that. <laughs> a, wholesome, a wholesome lady. Who was actually pretty good at what she did. <laughs> yeah. Khalifa finished a tirade against the fan by pointing out this writing. Good luck explaining this to any future significant others, idiot. She will not condone this fuckery. Yeah, how dare you idolize me? It's like, yeah, just an ungrateful, uptight bitch. Honestly. So that's how she feels about her fans. She clearly isn't uh, very nice to them. right? She's just an entitled brat like the only thing that's attractive about her is the way that she looks and her implants which i mean really depends on who you're asking who thinks that that's attractive <laughs> she needed those to increase her her uh, success in the industry but there's this other video i came across which mia it's called mia khalifa brought to tears by an angry fan all right so we had mia khalifa's opinion on her fans let's see what her fans have to say about her and if they're brought to tears, it must be pretty And I get funny. come up to by this guy and his girlfriend, and we were interrupted in the middle of talking and eating, and he said, hey, Mia Khalifa, can I get a picture with you? And I looked up at him, and I'm like, 
no, we're eating. And I said it just like that. Like it was, yeah. it was a rude way, but it was also very rude for him to come up while someone was actively right. in the middle of a conversation. And after I said, pause. <sighs> These are the people that give you your life. They're the ones that afford you being able to eat out at that place that they came to approach you at to speak about these things. And you respond to them in a rude fashion. It's like, that's going to be, you, you, you signed that as the declaration the second you fucking chose to choose to be known for doing the things that you do. Just when it comes to any industry, show some fucking gratitude, you goddamn parasite, man. Like, okay. Fan comes up, I'm eating food, having a conversation, pause the conversation, let's take a picture, let's get this over with. Literally two minutes, even less. And then you can move back to what you're doing. Like, dude, the sheer ungratefulness of this bitch, honestly. What else do you have to, well, so what happened next? I said that his girlfriend who was standing next to him grabbed him by the arm and said, I told you that wasn't her, there's not enough on her face, let's go babe. And... Fuck yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> Whoever said women can't be funny. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Oh my god. Off the cup ad lib. You fucking... Like, oh my god. She's never been fucked that hard throughout her entire goddamn career. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> oh, that is... That's really good. Fuck yes, man. Get fucking destroyed, Mia. Emotionally. <laughs> wow. You absolutely deserve that shit. Go fuck yourself. Honestly. Again, you're ungrateful. These people gave you your goddamn career, your life. They're the ones who are watching and supporting you. And, and, and you show them disrespect. So you got disrespected in, in retaliation to that. And you absolutely fucking deserve that. Oh my god. Hell yes, dude. <laughs> Give that woman like a comedy award. Oh my god. Just improv, just off the cuff. My god. Good shit. And <laughs> I went into the bathroom and cried. And Good. I didn't really know how to handle it, especially because it came from a woman, and especially because I was I like I was I was there for business and it was something that had nothing to do with the adult industry and Oh my god. I didn't know how to handle it. It came from a woman who was supposed to be allies. <laughs> Just let me disrespect your boyfriend in front of you. And he shows that he, he's into the stuff that I've made and he's trying to give me praise. And he's one of the many people who've afforded this life for me. I just want to disrespect him and a woman didn't come to my favor. Oh my God, this woman is God. She sucks. Like, as a person, not like she sucks, you know. <laughs> when it comes to that, but also as a person, which is way more important than this other thing. It's like, Jesus Christ. What an insufferable little bitch, honestly. And I was just very dejected and embarrassed and felt like that they would never want to work with me again. I was there for business. Like, does your person you were there for business with, like, do they not know who you are? Give me a fucking break. Are you kidding me? Why else would they be there having a, having a dinner with you? Oh, for business reasons. If they didn't know where you came from. God. People like this suck, man. I was embarrassed. I felt dejected. I said, tell you guys, I started crying. Shut up. Never want to work with me again. That must have been really hurtful. Funny. Yeah. Anthony, come on. Don't, don't simp. That must have been really hurtful. Shut up. I don't, who cares? How do you think it made the fan feel for you, you telling them to go fuck off after they were trying to show you praise? Somebody that they like, somebody that they look up to, which you aren't somebody that anyone should look up to because you're, you're, you suck, but suck. Not, not in that, but as a person. <laughs> that must have been really hurtful. Good. Go cry about it. Cry some more. Little bitch. Hurtful. Yeah. yeah. Did they end up working with you still after that? Yeah, we're still on the contract. Of course they <laughs> did! <laughs> Uh, don't support people like this. She sucks. Garbage. Garbage lady. She's got nothing. Nothing go for her. She didn't even feel like her looks were good enough. That's why she got fucking implants. Jesus Christ. W for that. For the girlfriend. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Good shit.